everybody, welcome back to Macho Yak TV. Today, we're gonna be doing a Tackle Warehouse unboxing. Now, I'm sure you guys have seen a ton of these on YouTube lately. Uh, it just kind of feels to me like everybody's doing a pissing match thing if they can spend more money than the other guy. So we're not gonna tell you how much that we spent this time. I All I wanna do is show you the lures that we got and what, you know, what we're gonna use for this upcoming year. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, uh, let's start out with the Molex Supernado Beetle. I've been really excited for this one for a long time. Um, Mike Iconelli, which is a New Jersey native, hopefully we run into him one day. Um, he's, I guess, teamed up with Molex, and he's been creating these really awesome lures. Molex is putting out some, like, cutting-edge stuff that, you know, it's, it's, it's not the normal lure, but I like to try these, these weird lures. So... I'm pretty excited about this one. Uh, it's a top water lure. If you guys uh, don't know about it, it's uh, kind of like a, jig a jitterbug. It works. The whole thing's actually soft. When I when I first uh, saw these, I thought that it was going to be uh, you know hard up here, and then the rest would be soft. But the entire thing is a soft plastic. This is a, a really cool lure. So I'm excited about that one. All right, uh, let's try the Vault Micro thing. Oh yeah, this one is like a little blade bait. I am excited about this one too. This, I have never used blade baits before. Um, honestly, I don't even know where to start with these things, but we're going to go ahead and give it a try. Like I said, this year we're going to be trying a ton of new things, a ton of new techniques that we've never done before, kind of getting out of our comfort zone. So that's another cool one. Uh, you want these? Noisy yeah, these are, as you guys know from the previous videos, uh, I'm a huge fan of Kytex. So, and in a previous video, I also stated that my favorite frog was the, um, was the money frog from Yum. So I've kind of been on a search for something similar for, you know, to that frog. And I think Kytex may have hit it right on the head here. Um, this is the noisy flapper. Basically it's going to do the same exact thing as the, uh, as the yum frog with the uh, the legs just kind of create a ton of movement in the water. So another lure that I'm really excited about. We got that in white and we also got it in a uh, what is blue this? and black color. Black and blue. It's got a it's got a, uh, a squid scent with it too. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah. So 3.5 inch lure. Really excited about that one. There you go. This one, a lucky craft. What is this? The fat CB. Big Daddy Strike 4, it's a floating, uh, floating crankbait. I have always done, um, you know, soft plastics and all that kind of stuff. Never really, uh, I don't know, I, I, I've always been kind of, I just didn't know anything about them, so I, I, I never used them. So, I used one in the fall, I did okay, but uh, I really want to try using some hard plastics this year and seeing, seeing what kind of results we can get. Here we go, we got another Mollux. Oh yeah, here's a really cool one. This is, uh, like I said, Mollux, I'm telling you, is just like tearing it up. This thing is, if you guys can see it there. There we go. This thing is really cool. Almost looks like what I thought. The eyes they're putting on these things kind of look like a frog eye. So, um, it's kind of like the best of both worlds. This is the ghost baby bass, or is it baby bass? Maybe it's no, it's just the uh, ghost bass, but um, what a cool lure. I mean, I, 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 Mollux is really tearing it up. So this one's actually silent. It doesn't have a, uh, it doesn't have any uh, bearings in it to, you know, make any noise. So we'll try it out, see how it works. You got another one. Yeah. Like I said, I'm excited about the Mollux here. I mean, look at that thing. It, it, that thing just looks incredible. Um, this one is a rattling one. This one is going to be a deeper diver. This one's just a, the uh, the bass, the ghost bass here one is just a uh, square bell. So I don't know. Well, this one goes down to, uh, let's see what we got here. I don't even know. I don't even know. I'd say probably like somewhere around six foot it'll go down to. But again, I'm really excited to use that. Uh, Alright, here's this one. Uh, I was on Tackle Warehouse. This one was on sale, so I figured I would just give it a try. It's upside down in the box here, but it's a uh, some kind of soft frog that you're supposed to be able to walk the dog with it. 
Uh, it's called Sumo Frog from, uh, just fix it, from uh, Yoko Zuno. It's called the ZZ Walker. I don't really know. We're going to give it a try and see, uh, you know, see how it goes. All right, now this one is one of my favorites. It's from Spro. It's a rat. Uh, I have the bigger one. I think it's the biggest one you can get in all white. And I just, I love it. The action on these things is just, like, incredible. So we decided to get the smaller one and see if it'd be the same. But uh, I think this is the one you're most excited for. Yeah, this is something that I have never, I've never even touched. I've never even seen in real life anything like this. This is the Jackal. Gantarell, I think you say it, uh, 6.3 inch, 2.45 ounce uh, swim bait, hard swim bait. And I am, I am beyond excited for this lure. I know that's kind of dark there. But um, I'm actually going to take this one out because I'm so excited for it. But uh, I've watched videos on this thing and it's just, it's unbelievable. This is an incredible lure. Now, like I said, never fish these lures, but we're going to give it a try this year. I think we're going to do well. I know they use these a lot out in Texas. Um, you know, they got those huge bass out there. In New Jersey, I, I don't even know anybody that uses them. But we're going to be the first. Mark it down, Macho Yak TV, first ones to use huge swim baits. There you go. You'll probably be able to see that a little bit better now. Looks like a real freaking fish. It's incredible. They got a uh, couple, gosh, man, those are some sticky hooks. A uh, couple cool features about this bait here. Um, it's a, uh, it's got the two uh, slits in it, so I don't know, a three-piece uh, swim bait. Um, it's got the feathers on here. That's pretty cool. Also, a really um, insane feature that they added on this one that I haven't seen on any other ones is the uh, the hook is actually on a uh, swivel. So as much as that fish wants to spin and try to try to use the lure against you to get off, it can't. So that's a really cool uh, cool feature. Another cool feature is you have right here, you can add a little, uh, little hook on the end there. Another cool thing is it has two places you can mount your line on the front. And most of the time you're gonna be mounting your line right, right there on the top one. But the cool thing is, this is the floating version, if you want, you can hook up a little drop shot weight right to the front and work that lure right across the bottom. It's This thing is just incredible, I'm telling you guys. And this is the, uh, I'm not even sure what color this is. This is uh, the Ghost Gill. So it's kind of see-through. They have another one, another uh, uh, bluegill looking one that is uh, not see-through. I kind of liked the Ghost Gill one. I don't know, it's, it looks cool. So. This is the one I got. I am super excited to use this thing. Is that all? Yeah, that's it. All right, so that's what we're gonna be trying out this year. We have a lot of hard baits, as you can see, a lot of top water baits. Um, we're really excited about it. We hope you guys are excited to see it and uh, look forward to an awesome year this year on Macho Yak TV. We'll see you next time.